Um, so can I help at all? Certainly. You can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Rattai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well... Go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that, out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Very well. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um... What else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you like. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry... I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. I brought some meat. Thank you, Henry. Rich food will definitely help. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all I need to know. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. 
monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other, and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I've... I can't afford anything more for them. How is that possible? You're the Infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. Can't you do anything? Won't the others help? Unfortunately not. The brothers in the cloister aren't much interested in the external world. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. Besides, his main concern is the smooth running of the monastery. And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him, but it seems he had some disagreement with Johanka and now he won't give us anything. Hmm. I'll try to talk to him. I can't believe your conscience lets you leave the Scalitz locals in such a state. I know. I'm ashamed. But my brothers believe it's all in God's hands now. Even so, conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I'm helping at the infirmary now, and I came to our... Ah, and how is Johanka? Do you know her well? Y yes, I do. Good, good. Does she ever talk about me? Sometimes. A little. That's good. Excellent. Johanka means a lot to me. I'm mainly here for supplies and to talk about the state of the wounded from Scalitz. They need blankets, food... Well, that's not my problem. Let the Infirmarius take care of it. His hands are tied. Until the abbot comes back, he can't get anything. And why should that interest me? Maybe because of Johanka. Hmm. What precisely are you getting at? She has a kind heart. Everyone can see how deeply she cares about the wounded. If you help her selflessly, it will win her over. She's bound to be impressed. Maybe you're right. It will cost me something, but I'll discuss it with Nicodemus. I should be able to help in some way. What the hell are you doing? Everything here is fine. God save, Christ Henry. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Greetings, Henry. Why don't you go and lie somewhere else? I can't. Not with this leg. What? Maybe I can make you what something to help you sleep. You oh, and for God's sake, do it quickly! He just needs to sleep. Everything here is fine. Uh, shit. What's going on? 
You're not from Scallets. No, but please help me. Jesus. I can't stay here. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks' rest can't fix. Weeks? My God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods, where any bandit or ruffian can sit on us. Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, where? What's happening? You look all right. Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Did the Cumans wound you? <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I've got bandages, so I can take care of it. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? I can do it myself. Um, I thought you were a blacksmith. A long time ago. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the art of medicine since then. Well, fine then. Huh? Damn. Why are you wigging me? How are you feeling? Good. It feels clean. Can Hope it helps. It, it will. Tell them to rebandage you daily. You have the bandages here. Thank you very much, Henry. Don't mention it. He just needs to sleep. Do you know anything about herbs? I'm not an expert, but I know a little something. Is it urgent? Well, one of the workers who was injured during construction would like to get back to work. He mentioned some purple flowers that would... Herbs. Oh, purple herbs that should help. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but you can have a look in the herbarium here. There won't be too many purple herbs for bruises and sprains. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. Yeah? Damn... Why are you waking me? Hopefully I have what you need. <laughs> Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days.
I've got something for you. Really? Drink this, and you'll fall straight to sleep. Oh, thank you! Dear Mistress Johanka, I've come again in admiration of your selfless dedication. I would like to invite you to a fine banquet at my palace. You certainly have earned some... What business have you here, fellow? Who let you in? I'm taking care of the wounded, as I'm sure you're aware. Ah. Well then, run along and take care of them and let me talk to Johanka. You're not needed here. Wouldn't it be better to have the banquet here, custodian? What? You admire Johanka's self-sacrifice. I'm sure she appreciates the same quality in others. Ah, yes. Quite. I was just thinking the same. I'll have some food brought here. That custodian, Sebastian, is really obnoxious. He can be unpleasant, but in his own way, I don't know. You can't be serious. What's that supposed to mean? At least he was here, unlike you, the whole time. And anyway, mind your own business. He just needs to sleep. Everything here is fine. Hey, watch it! He's not reacting. Folks these days. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask you, Hanka. Philip, from Scalitz. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg, a bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but... I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help and I don't know anyone else who can. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Well, fine. Try it then. What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. If he got poisoned. But what can we do? Us. Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. But I found him. He preaches in a church in Rovna. He's alive. Then talk to him. Tell me more about this. It All right. Hey! Are you holding him firmly? Aye.
Good health to you. I need help with treatment. Hmm, and what's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. But Philip from Scalitz is dying. He's lying in Sassau and won't last long. Slowly now. What happened to him? Nobody knows much. He's not wounded. But I heard he was hiding from the Cumans for days in a pile of carcasses. The Lord have mercy. The living should never lie with the dead. His intestines must be purged. But even then, he's in God's hands. How do I clean his intestines? It might surprise you, but you'll have to give him alcoholic spirits. The purest you can get your hands on. The best is distilled from Artemisia. It'll make him a bit delirious, but it'll help. I'll show you how to prepare it.
What? What happened? He brought you back to the land of the living. How? How long have I been unconscious? For a long time. Henry, Your friends have left. Uh, I have Lord to find Almighty. them. Rest now. You're going to be very weary for the next week or two. You'll find your friends. They probably ended up in Ratai like most of our folk. Well, all right. And Henry? Hmm? Thank you. How are the sick and wounded faring? I don't think there's anything more I can do for them. You did what you could. <laughs> Truly. I don't know what I would have done without you. You saved a lot of lives. <laughs>